It's two weeks with no vlogs, terrible YouTuber, no content, but it's good. We right back to it. We a little rusty with the vlogs. It's been a cool minute. Don't matter. We here with my boy Ish Money. The question of the day, if your fifth grade self could see you right now, what would he say? Good job, man. Good job, man. Good job, Good job man. man. That's inspirational. Good job, man. Mama, we made it. Mama, we made it. I'm with Caleb, one AC product. If your fifth grade self could see you right now today, what would he say? He would say, you the man, bro. You the man. Say. You the man. That's inspirational. That's inspirational. You the man. Hey, man, we done, we done switch locations on them. We nice and comfy in the meantime. Our boy, Shawnee Boy in the Cut. Question of the day. If your fifth grade self could see you right now, what would he say? If my fifth grade self saw me now, he'd be surprised. But he'd be very, very, very proud of me. In the case that I'm still playing basketball and I stay true to my morals that my parents taught me when I was a young kid. So that's a really big thing. <clears throat> I'm not going to lie. Sean has never disappointed with the answers. He's walking content, bro. Walking content. Live from the SU with one of the faces on this campus. One of the... Come on now. Come on now. And the question of the day for my dog, Justine. If your fifth grade self could see you right now today, what would she say? Um, you got to play college soccer. Yeah. 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 College athletes. We love it. We love to see it. We're all good. We're live from the bean scene. I'm lying. SU with Mr. Simpson himself. First, how's your day going so far? It's been a great day. Chapel was amazing. We went on a great walk this morning. Sun was going crazy, and now it's cloudy. Shout out Middlebrook. That was a great chapel. Great chapel. And the question of the day, if your younger self could see you today at Simpson University, what would he have to say about your life up to this point? Man, I think uh, I'd be pretty proud of myself to be at a school that uh, just pours into me. And I think I would say to my younger self to keep on pursuing the Lord and keep on surrounding myself with good people, and the rest will fall into place. Mm -hmm. Great answer. Great answer. Great answer. Great answer. What we got? We live from the coach's office with Coach Embry, the man himself. We got a couple questions today. First, we're going to start with a little football. How you felt about our winter conditioning so far, and then your thoughts going into spring ball uh, next week, the week after. I wouldn't hit in the winter. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, come on now, dog. Come on, man. All right, so um, for the spring, when I got here in February 1st, man, I felt, uh, you know, I felt good about it just watching y'all. I, I was observing y'all for the first two weeks, and then when Coach Daniels gave me the reins of the strength and conditioning program, uh, I think from both sides, everybody wanted a change and a spark, which for a good reason, and Coach Daniels loved it. I loved it. I'm, I'm loving the growth and the – Work ethic and the 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 effort, the energy that I'm seeing now with 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 you all. Okay, okay, okay. And then going into spring ball specifically, getting pads on. What is one thing you're looking forward to about that? Click, clack, boom. That's all I worry about. I'm the defensive coordinator. Like I don't want to see nothing else but click, clack, boom. Click, Assignment, clack, boom. Alignment, technique, filling gaps, catching picks. All that, all that. All right, and the question of the day, we're going to get off of football for a second. If your ninth grade self could see you right now today at Simpson University in Redding, California, what would he have to say? Well done. You, 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 congratulations, because I remember my ninth grade self uh, doing an assignment in class for English, and it was like write a 10-year, I think it was a 10-year letter to yourself that you can go back and read and see what you accomplish. And so my ninth grade self probably would say congratulations. Well done. Well done. We love to see it. All right, coach. Yes, sir, big you. dog. You know what it is. Hey, feel the swoop. We here with Babyface Ray in the cut. Talk to the people, man. If your younger self by fifth grade, sixth grade could see you right now, what would he say? Uh if I if my fifth grade self <laughs> probably say uh, he's proud of me and that I came a long way did a lot did of things you? myself yeah definitely for sure um going over through life probably say like we made it to college for real kept playing football like we wanted to but I, on on God though in fifth grade I thought I was gonna be an NBA star I thought I was gonna be a hooper for life stand up real quick um, hey <laughs> question of the day question of the and day you can't be biased but you're gonna be biased okay okay
Who has the better football, Texas or California? What? Get out, bro. Get out. Hey, right, I'm. You said who? Florida. Florida. Florida got the best football right now in today's today's era. Florida got the best football. Get out, bro. No, but all Florida, time California. Out of your mind. All time California. You tell me. Let's go to Florida right now. Let's, Let's go right now. Football. I just think I'm you're. Saying. I think you just Florida drank sucks, something bro. wrong. Yeah, bro. Like you put Florida in the mix. Let they me tell. Let me tell you. Let me tell you, let me tell you the. Florida let me are, football wise. Let me tell you. I'm talking about athletes and stuff like that. Football as a whole, right? Let me tell you the order, okay? Okay, let's hear it. It's Texas. No. I'll put Cali second. Mississippi, then Florida. Mississippi. Then Mississippi Georgia. Georgia. Oh, okay. Top five, top, top, five, five, top, five. top five. Top five. But Cali is not better than Texas. I'm sorry. Yeah. You can't put you can't you cannot go off of one football team in game last year. The record is twenty to thirteen. Okay, put it like this. Who got the best quarterbacks? <sighs> Come on now. What state got the best quarterbacks? Come on now. Best state. Got, you, better, you better say Come California. On Come on. It now. ain't California. Oh my. I'm gonna have to go Florida. What? Florida got the best quarterback. Florida got the best quarterback. You heard this, man. I'm gonna say what's Florida. What's in that cup? Florida what's in that cup, cup, coach? Florida got the best receiver. What's in that cup, coach? Okay, let Florida me flip that. Best Florida's receiver. best receiver, Florida, right now. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Best yes. quarterbacks. I'm going with Texas. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. We live from the Simpson University gym with the newest Red Hawk recruit. What's up with you, my so, boy? Congratulations. Hey, man, tell the hey, people man. your name. Tell them where you're from and what position you play. Hey, I'm from, uh, my name is James Wester. I'm from Bakersfield, uh, California, and I play receiver. I'm, I'm coming here to break records. That's what I'm coming to do. Coming here to break records. You heard the man. We're not playing. We is not playing. <laughs> and what made you make your decision today on campus? I mean, what made me make my decision today is I just came here and I just felt I just felt the culture. I feel like everybody is just genuine here. I just felt like I just is where I want to be. It's where you need to be. Hold on. We sign off every every single vlog the same way. Throw your hands like this. Like this. <sighs> Fear to swoop. We are live from the Simpson University gym with our newest Red Hawk signee. Tell the people your name. Tell them where you're from and what position you play. Uh, Hey guys, uh, my name is Leandro Navarro. Um, I'm from East Bakersfield High School, and I play uh, safety. Safety, back in. Come on now, dark side. All right. And the question of the day: What made you make your decision today on campus to sign and join the flock? Uh, I already knew I wanted to sign uh, coming here. Um, I love the coaching. Um, I felt wanted. That's that's the biggest thing, and on, and that's why I wanted to come here. Come on now, congratulations, my boy. Thank you. Congratulations, Thank you. yes sir. Thank you. <laughs> from you with the newest Red Hawk signing. Tell them your name. Tell them where you're from. What position you play? My name. <laughs> I mean, you handed it. My name is Nathan Escalera. I'm from Salinas, California. I play Nickelback, or as I call it here, Buck. Don't look at him. Look at the camera. Come on now. We, oh wow, they connected. They move as a unit. You heard the man. We move as a unit. Okay. And what made you? What was the defining, the defining moment today that really locked it in your head today? It was like, yeah, I'm gonna be a Red Hawk. I mean, I've had different experiences with coaches, but nothing ever like I've had today. You know, it was a friendly. You know, everything was welcoming me. I felt, you know, I just had a great experience here overall. It was just. Uh, a vibe I never felt before coming from a whole coaching staff. That's great vibes. That's great vibes. Fear to swoop, man. Fear to swoop. You heard him. You heard him. You heard him. We're here with the defensive coordinator of our own Simpson Redhawks, Coach Embry, the man himself. How you feeling about our recruiting man, day today? I am pumped. I'm excited. We got three today. We swung out the park. Come on now. Three for three. Hundred percent. Stop playing with him. Yes, sir. You know how it is. Come on. Swoop. Fear to swoop. Fear to swoop. Fear to swoop. <laughs> well, you know, we are live with Coach Grimshaw, you know, the man behind the scenes, keeping all of our players eligible. Let's really talk about it. All right, doing the hard work. Coach Grimshaw, how you feeling? We had a couple recruits on campus today, had a couple signed, actually had all of them signed. How are you feeling about today? I feel good. Uh, I think that uh, all three uh, young men are going to be good fits for our program. Uh, I like the fact that we have a lot of family members here uh, because, you know, we're about family. And uh, to see them here, uh, visiting, getting along, they're exchanging phone numbers and stuff like that. That's what we're all about. And uh, it's part of what we're building here. And so I just can't get any better than three for three, can you? 100%. We swinging out the park. You heard Coach Embry? Hey, we finally got him. We live with the man, the myth, the legend. He be ducking from the camera. Coach Sandow. 
talk to the people. How are you feeling about our recruiting day today? It's a big day. You know, sign two guys out of Bakersfield, add to the four or five we have on the program. Um, add another guy from Salinas, game changing nickel. It's a great day to be a Red Hawk, baby. It's a great day to be a Red Hawk. It's always a great day to be a Red Hawk. You know what I'm saying? Go to school, man. All right, we are here with the head honcho, the man himself, Coach Daniel. We had a bunch of recruits, actually, had a couple recruits on campus today. Went 100%. How are we feeling about today? Oh, man, it was a blessed day. So three recruits on campus today, guys that we've been targeting for several months, kind of an exclusive elite day for us. Uh, we don't want to bring in 20 guys. We want to bring in three studs, and we signed all three today. They all three committed. So, hey, we know we got better today. Mm -hmm.